Today is World Suicide Prevention Day. And the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention has a great event that's planned this weekend to raise awareness and to offer hope. Dina Kupfer has more. Hi, Dina. Hi, good morning to all of you. So World Suicide Prevention Day is something that so many of us have a connection to, even if it's not necessarily a personal connection. I think we all know a family who's been affected by this, sadly. And so this morning, we have two very important people with us who are going to talk more about how you can help in a virtual way, and then also a little selfie action, because we know we love those in 2020. All right, so this morning, we have two women. We have Sarah Benedict and Rochelle Chu, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention and Sacramento Out of the Darkness Walk Chairs. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. morning. Good morning. Okay, so obviously because of COVID-19, things have changed a little this year from the normal event you would have been doing. So what are you doing instead this year? So we're gonna be hosting a virtual event on September 26th. Uh, it's free to sign up at afsp.org slash Sacramento walk. And we're hoping to incorporate the community just like we would at our normal walk. So we're asking people to submit pictures of themselves walking in the community, uh, videos talking about why they walk and what color they wear. And um, we're going to be having a selfie booth this weekend also to get pictures of teams. Yeah, so talk about the selfie booth, Tomato Alley. How is this going to work? So we're going to have a booth set up in front of our shop Friday and Saturday from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. People will come out with their teams wearing, you know, their shirts or anything they want, maybe bringing some photos of their loved ones with them. We will have little props for them to take pictures with against this wall here. We'll also have actually a lot of resources because that's one element of the walk that's really important that people can come out and talk to us. So we'll have resources for anybody who may need a little help during this time. Yeah, and I think, you know, especially with what's going on right now, it's a very difficult time for so many individuals. And so, Sarah, I know you have a very personal connection to this topic. So let's talk about how this has impacted your family. Sure. So I lost my brother, uh, Brad, in 2012 after a lengthy battle with depression and anxiety. I joined AFSP in 2013. I just found it to be a really great organization. I found a lot of healing here and I found a lot of hope. Um, so it's my personal mission to just get the word out that mental health is just as important as physical health and that we need to be connected as a community, especially now with COVID-19 and depression and anxiety being on the rise. Um, you know, just if we can stop one family from experiencing the loss that my family did, then it's all worth it to me. Absolutely. And I know, you know, the key here is just being able to have resources and knowing who to talk to, where to turn, not only for the person going through the depression and anxiety, but also for the family members, knowing how they can best help their loved ones. And so, ladies, I think what you're doing is just so incredibly valuable and important, especially right now. Uh, we're going to have all of the information linked up to our Good Day Sacramento website on how you can sign up for the virtual event and how you can also get resources if you know someone going through a hard time, if you're a loved one of someone going through a hard time. We want to make sure you know we're here to help. So ladies, thank you for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Stay safe and well, and good luck with the virtual event this year. All right. Very important stuff. Very important stuff.